All right, guys. Um, we are back. We're starting part three of our Arch, our 2016 Arch Linux EFI install guide. Uh, we've already set up our partitions. We've already um, assigned file systems to those partitions. We've installed the base uh, base packages. We've um, configured the system. We've configured the fstab and the bootloader so that we can boot into the system properly. So you may be asking, why am I still booted into the USB stick? Well, we have to set up the internet because <laughs> I kind of forgot to set that up before I rebooted. So what we're going to do is um, once you boot up into your USB stick, you get here. You're going to ping Google first. C3 www.google.com. Make sure you get a ping. All right, we get a ping. Now we're going to have to remount our drives. Let's be LK so I can see my drives. Um, mount dev NVMe 0 and 1P3 and T for our root. Mount dev NVMe 0 and 1P1 MNT slash boot. Mount dev NVMe 0 and 1P2 oh, 4 slash MNT slash home. Arch ch root MNT. Okay, now we're in here. We have our internet up and working. IP link. Look at that. It says state up working. Good. Yay. All right. So what we want to do is sudo systemctl enable dhcpcd at ENP, which is this device, 4 at 0 dot service. Oh, I spelled that wrong. At ENP 4 at 0 dot service. Right? Right. Okay. Symlink done. We're good. Next thing we're going to have to do is reboot and make sure it works. So exit, reboot, IP link. Hey, look at that. Now, if we do ping c3google.com, we get a ping. Look at that. We have internet. The next step. Next step is if you're on a laptop, go ahead and install your um, your Synaptics drivers for your touchpad. I don't need to do that because I'm on a desktop. Uh, if you need a command for that, it is in my guide on my blog. I'll have the link in the description. Just go ahead and click that. You'll find it there. It's very easy to find. Um, next thing we got to do is install some 3D support now that we have our NVIDIA drivers installed. So, sudo pacman s mesa. Inst put our password in for root. Yes, proceed. All right, now that mesa is installed, let's go ahead and install X, our display manager sudo pacman s xorg dash server xorg dash server utils xorg dash x init xorg dash cwm xorg dash x clock x term yes install all of it all of it. Look at that. Wow, that was fast. Okay. So, um, let's make sure that X is working first by typing start X. <gasps> oh my god, it works. Holy bananas. There we go. We've got our little uh, things here. Uh, you can't see it on my other monitor, but we have our clock working. So, it's, both of our monitors are showing up. 
And look at that. Okay, so now we can type in exit. Get back into our command prompt. And we're going to install a desktop environment now that we've done that. Um, the way we do that is sudo pacman s. We're going to install gnome. Gnome extra. Default for all. All. Do the defaults, proceed, yes. All of it. Wait for it to do its thing. Do, 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 do. for it to finish installing GNOME here. Almost done. There we go. Okay, so that's done. Next thing we gonna do is install our uh, desktop manager so that we have a login screen, which is uh, sudo pacman sgdm. Oh, it was already installed with the GNOME. Okay. Next thing we have to enable the GDM service. sudo systemctl enable GDM service. Okay. Now we install the GNOME tweak tool in case we need to. sudo pacman s gnome tweak tool. That's done. Oh, it was already installed as well. Okay. Now we're going to do the uh, GNOME software manager, which is through Yaourt. So we're going to do Y-A-O-U-R-T-S, GNOME software. Oh no, we don't have Yaourt. Okay, so let's go ahead and install that. What Yaourt is, is it pull, It works just like Pac-Man, except for it pulls from the Arch Linux uh, user repositories. So sudo pacman s Yaourt. There we go. Now let's install GNOME software. Oh, that was the wrong password. That was also the wrong password. Hello? Okay, well apparently, oh, my numlock's not on. Well, that would explain it. There, holy moly, it's because my numlock wasn't on. Proceed with installation, yes. All right, so num software is installed. Here comes the fun part. Here's the last part. We get to reboot. Hooray! Reboot again.
Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. There's our GNOME Display Manager. All right, let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so I just realized um, that when I rebooted, I had to reinitialize my capture card so it didn't show my desktop, but we were able to log in successfully and um, here's our new GNOME desktop with everything working, everything running. And I, again, I apologize. I'll go ahead and edit the video and add this to it. But there you go, we got a nice clean uh, Arch Linux install, everything running. We got our internet, our sound, we're good to go. So um, I appreciate it. I appreciate any of you guys' comments. Um, please, please, please leave comments, leave uh, suggestions, uh, questions that you might have, errors that might come up. I'll see if I can help you the best I can. I'll write the questions down and hopefully put them in the next guide for you know either the next year or the next couple of months, whenever it needs to be updated again. Uh, we were able to get a lot of updates in now that we didn't have before. Let me go ahead and remove that one there. But like I said, we had we were able to cover a lot of stuff that we didn't have before, as well as hopefully um, things were a little bit more visible for people. And yeah, I hope you guys get your Arch Linux installed and that I was able to cover anything that you might come across that would cause an issue. Um, that being said, this is the end of part three. I've got other videos that I will be putting up as far as guides, tutorials, um, product reviews. I've got a bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to review, just haven't had time to make the videos for them. Um, but yeah, this is a long ass goodbye. So goodbye.